Congressman, former Congressman Christopher Shea. Such a pleasure to have you. Oh, it's great to be here. I'm at a convention, a Democratic convention as a Republican. Thrilled to support uh, Kamala and and her wonderful choice as vice president. I, I wanted. We talked a little bit about China earlier, um, and I, so I want to talk about what you view as the biggest. And I, I'm not. I'm trying to plant an idea in your mind. Let me. Let me. Let me ask the question. What do you see as the biggest external threats to America? Well, first off, um, I have to confess to you that I was hopeful that when China decided to compete in the market, that competing in the market would uh, promote democracy and. Uh, a leadership that would uh, go in a different direction than the communist state was going. And um, it's not. And it's not because the leaders in China want to hold on to power. And it's also because they want to control the news. And if you control the news, you don't have democracy. And, and a good example of that would just be the harvesting of organs. I mean, it's incredible to think that they would take human beings and take their organs to sell to another human being so that human being could live. And uh, you clearly know that's going to be an issue. Whenever I traveled to China, I was told, Congressman, you better be careful. Your room will be bugged and there'll be a camera. And by the way, um, there'll probably be a very gorgeous woman or more that will say, oh, hey boy, you want to come with me? Uh, and they just made it very clear, you do that, uh, they've got you for life. I, I've heard I've heard many such stories as well, and people being protected, and in some cases even being compromised. Um, what what can be done about that? Uh, this uh, the the China threat today. Well, the first thing, what can be done about it? Uh, just acknowledging it's happening, uh, and have Americans realize how gross it is. Uh, it, it's possible. It's possible that the Chinese would find it so not just embarrassing but abhorrent to the rest of the world uh, and certainly uh, you wouldn't go to China to get an organ that will be a start and some people go to get an organ um, so you stop that trade uh, you publicize it uh, give it the light of day and and things will change a bit and then I have a belief that people want freedom and democracy and uh, you can't hold it down you can't. I mean, you can try, you can postpone it, but then then you're going down a, a direction that won't be pleasant. Well, one of the things that's a reality is that there's the Chinese economy and the U.S. economies are quite intertwined in all sorts of ways. Yes. And there's a lot of credible arguments. The, I mean, you may have heard that this presents a kind of national security threat. How to deal with that? Well, this is a big, difficult question because you do want trade among nations. And one of the problems that the United States has is we have very strict rules about ethics and so on, and we don't deal with certain governments. Uh, and those governments don't stop doing what they're doing, they just deal with other countries. And it, it's, you don't always have the best choices. You sometimes, you sometimes make choices that aren't perfect, aren't even close to being perfect. We need trade with China, they need to trade with us. Uh, but that should never prevent us from speaking the truth and, and being critical of things that aren't right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Congressman Shea. Uh, enjoy the convention. Th thank you very much. I am enjoying it.